we make up less than 2% of string players in the entire world. Black people, black women, like there's they're just a few of us. And so challenge wise for myself, I also encounter challenges when trying to de decide and defend in some cases my musical identity, right? So I started with classical, but pretty early on, I wanted to play other music that was not classical, that my teachers were not encouraging, but my environment was, right? I had a real reckoning as a high schooler going into college, not studying music, with like, how am I gonna keep this music thing going? I'm not jazz enough for the jazz people. I'm not classical enough for the classical people. I'm not, you know, R&B enough for the gospel. I mean, but my dad kind of encouraged me. It was like, you're your own genre. Like you don't have to subscribe to any genre or category. You can actually just be your own person. And it wasn't until God helped me find Dawn and Elise that I felt safe as been has been mentioned around classrooms and audiences and environments that we play in. It wasn't until the String Queens that I felt safe and I could just be the musician that, to be honest with you, God called me to be.